Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be talking about 20 huge changes that Rockstar made to Red Dead Online with the latest update in patch 1.09. So anyways, let's dive into it today and let's get it started. The first big change that Rockstar has made is that they have increased gold payouts across multiple different events. So free roam events, free roam missions, a land of opportunity story mode missions, showdown modes, and open world events like treasure hunts, daily challenges, and awards. So this is obviously great. Higher payouts are awesome. Uh, it's obviously better than the reverse happening where you would get lower payouts. So now basically anything that gives you gold is going to give you more of it. How much more? I'm not too sure. I didn't notice a huge bump, but like I said, any bump is better than a decrease. Number two, Rockstar has added a new HDR calibration menu. So if you play with HDR enabled, uh, players can now switch between the existing cinematic HDR and a new game HDR style. And a new option has been added to allow manual adjustment of peak brightness values for different displays. So if you play with HDR on, again, this is something you might want to check as it might improve your experience. The third big change that Rockstar has added is they've introduced the hostility system that builds upon the changes to the player blips from the previous title update. So depending on actions, players will now be labeled as one of three hostility levels. Low, which is a dark blue blip, medium, which is pink, or high, which is dark red. And your current hostility level can be seen in the online options section of the player menu. So you can see that I am low right now. Uh, now players with higher hostility levels will still receive the same punishment as the previous update, causing them to appear at longer distances on the map and respawning further away. Now a big change is that a player's hostility level will not be affected when killing players through PvP such as showdown modes or free roam events, and players can attack other players with a high hostility level without any negative changes towards their own hostility level. And a player's hostility level will slowly reduce over time when not performing any hostile actions towards other players. Building off of that, number four today, players now have the ability to press charges from the death screen after being killed by another player. So if a player decides to press charges, the attacker will gain a bounty and their hostility level will increase from performing that crime. This increase was the default behavior before this update. Now, if a player does not press charges, the attacker will not gain any bounty or hostility level for performing that crime. So you basically have to like induce a crime on them, otherwise nothing will happen. Also building off of that, a new playing style has been added to online, offensive and defensive. So offensive playing style is the default existing behavior in free roam, allowing standard PvP combat in all free roam activities with no additional protections. However, if you choose to flip on the defensive style, uh, you'll notice that it gives players the abilities to signal that they want to opt out of PvP based activities and aggressive interactions with other players. And players with a defensive play style will have a shield icon above their head, cannot lock on to other players and cannot be locked on to, do not receive critical damage when shot and take less damage in general, can't be lassoed, tackled, or executed, and are unable to interact with some free roam missions and will be offered fewer free roam missions with a PvP component from mission givers. And building off of that, players with an offensive playing style will increase their hostility level significantly when attacking or griefing players with a defensive playing said style, and players with a defensive play style will have their hostility increased if they choose to perform any aggressive behavior towards a player that does not have a high hostility level and be switched out of the defensive playing style. So essentially, if you choose one of these playing styles, you better not do something that goes outside of the mold of that playing style, otherwise you will be punished. Moving on, Rockstar have added daily challenge streaks. So players must complete at least one daily challenge from each of the day's selection to prevent the streak from being broken and resetting back to zero. And after completing each streak set at seven day intervals, the players will activate the next level of reward multiplier that applies to all future gold earnings through daily challenges until the streak is broken. And after completing the 28 day streak, the player is rewarded with a one-time reward of a treasure map. Very cool. I like this. It's sort of a one-week incentive to keep doing 
the treasure maps. Moving on, it is now much harder to get a headshot in Red Dead Online. Rockstar changed the way that locking on against other players is controlled. When locking onto a player's torso and flicking the right stick upwards, the reticle will no longer automatically make adjustments towards the targeted player's head, which makes headshots slightly more challenging, but now also slightly more rewarding. Moving on, Rockstar also increased the speed that players in Red Dead Online are able to switch between different weapons when using the weapon wheel. So you'll notice that switching weapons is a whole lot faster and in my opinion a lot easier now as your weapons are usually ready to go. Building off of that, thrown weapons such as a dynamite or a fire bottle are now lit instantly when held, which will allow you to speed up the time before they are thrown, basically making those weapons a little bit more powerful as there's no delay before throwing them. Rockstar have also added some new awards to Red Dead Online, specifically related to new daily challenges and the dynamic world events and any other new content that has been added. So if you feel like you've done or accomplished all the awards, which would be very impressive, I highly doubt that's the case, I would recommend checking back because you might find some new ones available for you to try. Uh, after that, Rockstar have made changes to the way rival players are indicated that you're doing something or performing a free roam mission. So the time before sending out notifications to nearby players that an objective can be captured or destroyed has been greatly increased. And I have actually noticed this, that it is now like a couple of minutes. It's crazy. And rival players now need to be close to an objective uh, before they are able to participate. I like that as well. So it doesn't send it out to the entire map. And it takes about a minute or two now, which is really nice. Rockstar have also made some big improvements to the Red Dead Online character creator, specifically involving the menu layouts, adding descriptions and illustrations of what you're actually doing. So a lot of times when you would be building your character, you might be unsure of what a change actually does. Well, now Rockstar have made it much more clear as to what you're actually doing in the character creator. I still wish they would give us the option to redo our characters because mine is looking super ugly and I wish I could change that. But at the end of the day, this is a nice improvement. After that, Rockstar have allowed us to now pin awards uh, to check our current progress. So once an award is pinned, they will appear in the log section of the player menu. Very convenient. So if you're focused on a specific award, you can now pin it. And now you don't have to go through all these different menus in order to uh, basically figure out how close or far away that you are. Building off of that, you can also now switch between ranks while on the rank unlock screen using the bumper or shoulder buttons on the controller. So you can navigate a little bit easier. And now Rockstar have added descriptions to items in the rank unlock menus to inform players where they can purchase them. For the most part, it should be pretty obvious, like a weapon you can purchase at the gun store, clothing you can purchase at a tailor or a general store, but it still does make things a little bit better. Rockstar have also updated the progress section of the pause menu to now show the total completion percentage without needing to open the sub menu while in story mode. So kind of a nice quality of life change there if you're looking to check your progress. You now don't have to go through so many menus. After that, the display of attacker information on the player death screen has been sped up in Red Dead Online. So that is now visible before respawning. So I'm not sure what this information is. Maybe like what weapon they're using and how they killed you. Uh, I'm not too sure, but again, I think that's better. Rockstar have introduced an improvement to the horse selection menu. There's a specialty option now that you can use in the player menu to sort of preset which of your owned horses you would like to use in free roam, races, showdown modes, and on missions. This is really convenient. So if you have multiple horses in different categories, like a war horse or a superior horse or a race horse, you might want a different one depending on what you're doing. And now this gives you the option to set which horse you'd like when doing a certain activity. Very cool. And last but not least, Rockstar have added a new control scheme called FPS2 which has been added to the settings menu. Now, this scheme moves the sprint button to R1 or RB with the intention of allowing running and sprinting at the same time as your camera movement. In addition, cover has been moved to the X or the A button in this layout. So that right there is 20 huge changes that Rockstar have added to Red Dead Online in the latest update, patch 1.09.
That is certainly not all of the changes, fixes, and new additions that they have introduced. Uh, Rockstar introduced a ton of general and miscellaneous fixes for story mode. They did some game uh, stability, performance, and networking fixes for Red Dead Online. They fixed some issues with daily challenges, audio and dialogue, crime and bounty, game menus and user interface. If you're interested in all of those changes, I will actually leave the patch notes in the description so you can check them out for yourself as Rockstar made a ton of really cool changes and they might have uh, introduced something that specifically applies to you. So as always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Are you happy with all the changes that Rockstar ultimately made in Red Dead Online in this update? What was your favorite and what is something you wish they did? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.